You. Yeah, you. You. Right there. The moment of truth. The moment we've all been waiting for. The mid chapter patch. I've yet to go over these fucking patch notes. Am I excited? A little bit, because I saw something in the patch notes. I've only read one thing so far, and it already made me hurt. I shouldn't be hurt for this patch. I know it's going to be the complete fucking maybe dog shit. It's possible. It's a 50 50 chance of winning. Especially with the devs. So, get your juice box, get your snacky snacks, get your beer, get your fucking granola bar, get your donut. Get whatever you need. Because we're about to go over these patch notes. Alright, who features and content? When our remaining survivors in a trial hit the struggle phase on the hook, the entity will instantly drain the remaining life bar. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Does that mean I don't have to waste five minutes of my life when I have multiple survivors on a hook struggling for their fucking careers? I like that change already. I don't know, I don't have to waste fucking like 20 years of my life. That's fucking awesome. The repair speed debuff. All right, so this is the re uh, repair speed efficient de uh, debuff for all each survivor working on a generator is increased by 15 up from 10%. So increased by 5%, the repair speed efficiency debuff. So the repair speed efficiency debuff when multiple survivors are working on a gen. So does that mean it's going to take, what is it, four people, what is it, like 36 seconds for a gen? Does that mean it's going to, so 5% increase to 36. Can I ask Siri, what the fuck is a 5, Siri, what is a 5% increase to 36? Alright, go fuck yourself, Siri didn't help me. So, <laughs> what I'm guessing, I mean 36, if I have to do math in my head, which I fucking hate with a passion, I still don't think that's that big of a change though, 5%? I still think you're still gonna get gen rush up the fucking ass. I don't think that's gonna make much of a. I think what they're doing is they're testing this out first to see if it's enough, and I think if it's not enough, they're gonna increase it a little. I think they're gonna, they're gonna do this little by little. I hope, but I feel like this is not enough yet. But it's a good start for sure, 100%. Great skill checks while repairing now give 1% bonus uh, progression down from 2%. I mean, I guess that that's actually that's actually meh. Is it that big of a deal? Not really, but it's a pretty big deal if you consistently hit great skill checks i guess it's more for like high level if you're playing at a high level survivor i guess it can be a pretty big deal but i think that's not going to really change much great skill checks while repairing and i give 300 blood points up for oh that's actually really fucking good if you're especially if you're trying to rank up in the ranks 300 blood points that's actually if you're consistently hitting great skill checks that's just gonna stack up that's actually it's not bad not that bad Memento Mori interactions adjustment. Mori animations only begin at the end of your interaction charge. So Mori... Ah, oh, so people that fucking like the spam and stuff, like that toxic bullshit, they won't be able to do that anymore. They have to do the... They won't do the animation. They'll just stand there like an idiot. So I mean, eh, I guess. The Legion's Final Frenzy job. Whoa, 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 whoa! Final Frenzy adjustment restored the Legion's ability to see the scratch marks and pools of blood at the beginning of the fatigue. When Viral Frenzy expires, what? Is that a, that's a Legion buff, bro. I mean, at a high level with Legion, it doesn't really matter that. I mean, it can match. That's not that bad. I guess it's more for, I guess in the lower ends of play for Legion, that that's going to be actually extremely fucking useful. I guess at the high ranks too, but not as much as in the low ranks. Bro, that's, how, that's fucking awesome. I mean, that's how it should have been to begin with, but bro. That's actually a really nice fucking change. The emblem system. Oh fuck! Here we go. Adjusted the bene the bene blah, 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 blah. the benevolent emblem progression thresholds. Emblem benevolent emblem progression thresholds. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Added additional player feedback when survivors attempt to escape hook by themselves. Improve. Wait 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 what? Added additional player feedback when survivors attempt to escape a hook by themselves. Adds additional player feedback. Does that mean survivors are going to get a notification when they attempt to escape themselves? That has to be what that means, right? I mean, because they already have a bar at the bottom. Maybe the bar will go like, ding, or like, I have no fucking, I have to, that's, that's one of the changes you have to see in game. I have no idea what the fuck that is. Improve the controller sensitivity range and option. <gasps> oh, I got to play with that once we get into a match. Holy fuck. I'm sorry. Added score vents for interrupting survivors when they're sabotaging, cleansing, or digging around a jigsaw. Uh, that's nice, and that's actually really nice for fucking uh, Pig, because you're mainly playing around your jigsaw boxes pretty much the whole game, so... And it's, sometimes it's really hard to get, sometimes even really hard to get a fucking Ruthless, unless you're fucking like... You absolutely destroyed them early game, but... I guess that's a really... 
I think that's a pretty good change for, uh, it's not even a change, but I think it's gonna be really good for Pig, especially if you're trying to, uh, grind blood points and shit. That's actually really fucking nice. Updated the party management. Alright, so none of that shit matters. I think the biggest changes so far are this whole features and content. Probably... I mean, the repair speed efficiency debuff is a pretty big change, but I feel like it's not gonna be that big of a deal. But I think out of all this, probably the Legion change and the repair efficiency debuff. I think... I don't know, I'm gonna have to get in game and see, but I feel like it's not gonna be that much of a difference. Alright, moment of truth. Balance. Oh, then my brain is gonna fucking hurt after seeing this. Alright. Cold one farm. Torment Creek. Reduce the safety of the window in the silo. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Reduce the safety of the window. So, if you guys don't know, Torment Creek is the map with the big ass fuck. I thought it was a hot air balloon. I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought it was a big ass, fat ass, juicy ass hot air balloon. It's not a hot air balloon. It's a fucking building. I didn't know that. So, they removed the safety of the window that's, um, Towards the end of the hot air balloon. I'm gonna call it a hot. It looks like a fucking hot air balloon. Towards the end. So if I had to guess, reduce the safety of the does that mean they changed the pathing of that window? Or maybe change the window back to where the chest spawn usually is? I feel like I don't know. I feel like that would make sense to make the window but to be fair though, if they did that, that'd make the window even safer, because it's I mean, it is a little further away. I wonder what it means by reduce the safety of the- I'm gonna have to see that. That's that's one of the changes you have to see in game. I'm not too sure. Reduce the safety of the window in the slaughterhouse. Oh my god, thank the fucking lord. Dude, the slaughterhouse loop. If you're playing a 4.4 killer, we're about to do some fucking hot ass math. A 4.4, you're taking that loop about four different times. If you're lucky, three times. That loop is fucking ridiculous. I wonder- So, I wonder if they added- Did they add a door next to that window? That wouldn't make any sense. They probably- If I had to guess, they probably did what they did in the, um- the cowboy map, what the fuck is that map called? Dead Dog Saloon. They, what they probably did was make a similar pathing. So you know how the window, you have to break the door to get extra pathway to that window? I think it's around like fucking um, the jungle gyms. If I had to guess, they're probably doing something similar to that where there's like a door next to the window but not too far away from the one. But to be fair, that wouldn't make sense on the slaughterhouse loop. So maybe they added a door next to the first window you can jump over next to the pallet. I mean, that wouldn't make sense. That's another one I have to see in game, but thank god fucking, dude, that loop is fucking ridiculous. If you're playing a trap character, that loop gets fucking destroyed, but if you're not playing a trap character, what, a, what is it, 4.6? You have to take that loop, I think, three times, and with a 4.4, you have to take that four times, so... That's fucking awesome. Fractured cow shed. Reduce the safety of the window in the cow shed. Fractured cow shed. What? Hold on, my brain shut off. Fractured cow shed. Reduce the safety of the window in the building? So reduce the safety of the window in the cow shed. So if I had to guess, reduce the safety of the window. Which one though? Because there's multiple windows in the cow shed. So if I had to guess, it can't, do you? No, there's no way. Because the safety, I mean, it, that's a pretty big nerf to that cow shed loop. Because I don't even think that cow shed loop was super duper strong. It was pretty strong, but I guess, I guess it's a pretty good nerf. But like, I'm wondering, reduce the safety. I want to know what that means. I think once we play like Torment Creek. And like all the other maps, we're gonna get a general idea of what they mean by reduce the safety of the window. But if I had to guess, maybe they changed the pathing to the window so it's not just a straight line all the way to the fucking window. That's probably what it is. Maybe they move like some of the hay bales in front of the window so you have to go around and maybe force a slow loop. Maybe. But I'm not I'm not too sure what the fuck reduce the safety of window in the couch it means. Uh Thompson House. Added a drop down to the second floor and added a window vault. What? Added a drop down to the second floor and added a window vault. Added a safety to the combined harvester's vault preventing a strong alternative path. Added safety to the com- what is that? Added safety to the combined- what the fuck is combined harvesters? <laughs> what is that? Combined harvester's vault? Oh, is that? I have no idea what the fuck that- I'm gonna be honest with you. What the fuck is a combined harvester? Oh, so added a drop down to the second floor. I'm hoping that they didn't add a window or a vault at the second floor where the gen is. Because if they did, that means once they jump over, bounce landing's gonna be fucking super strong. Oh, and then they could probably loot me about like three different times in that same spot. But to be fair, they added a drop down to the second floor. So what I'm hoping is when you get the drop down, you get an, uh, an opening to prevent them from looping you about seven different fucking times on that same. I'm hoping. Oh, I feel like that's really fucking bad. I have to, like I said, I have to 
go in game and see this shit, but I feel like that's fucking, that's gonna be fucking, it's gonna make me break my fucking dick in half, dude. And I don't know what added safeties to the combined harvester's vault. I don't know what the fuck, com is the combined harvester's vault, the vault, the stone vault, and all the farm maps? Or the uh, stone loot? I have no fuck, I'm, that's another one I have to see in game, I have no idea what the fuck, what the fuck is that combined harvester, what the, what the fuck is that? Alright, the McMillan Estate. It's not really that much. Coal Tower, remove the window on the first floor of the tower. Wait, 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 wait. Remove the window on the first floor of the tower. Does that mean that loop doesn't exist anymore? Remove the window on the first floor of the... Bro, does that mean that loop doesn't fucking exist anymore? No fucking way. Did the Elder Gods just the fucking- I got- no, I need to play that map. I need to see that loop. Does that mean I'm not gonna fucking have to take that loop three different fucking- Bro, everybody and their moms fucking took that loop. They're like, you know what? You wanna chase my ass? Fuck you. I'm gonna take an infinite loop and I'm gonna fucking your ass. That's pretty much what they said. Oh my god. Did they really take that window? But they- If they took that window, well, that means they replaced it with something else. I had to been, right? I'm hyped. Groaning storehouse, remove the window in the storehouse. Groaning storehouse, so groaning storehouse, remove the window in the storehouse. I'm trying to think. Groaning storehouse, groaning storehouse is... Oh, they removed the window on the, um, the building. Yeah, so groaning storehouse is, um... How the fuck do I explain that map? It has the two openings, the, the house with the two openings in the middle of the map. And then... I don't know how the fuck to explain that map. But they removed the window to fucking make it... I mean, it wasn't an infinite loop. It wasn't an infinite loop. I mean, to be fair, all... I mean, trap characters fucking destroy infinite loops. But, that's fucking huge. Remove the window in the store. So that means I'm not going to be fucking uh, wasting 20 minutes of my life looping. Because if you're playing at a high level, you cannot take that loop. I remember I was playing in a video. I, th I don't remember. Was I playing Spirit? I think was, I was either playing Spirit or uh, Legion. And we took that. We, we literally, you cannot take that loop or you will lose the game. At a high level. 100%. You will get generous up your ass if you take that loop. So, bro, I think, uh, yeah, they, if they're removing this shit, that means they're replacing it with something else. And I'm actually really curious of what they're replacing it with. God, remove the window. So, bro, that's fucking, that's a sick change. I say it's a six change. Oh, six sex change. What the fuck did I just say? I think it's a six change. Sick change. Fuck. But I want to know what they replaced it with. Because it's possible that... They probably just, uh, removed the window and replaced it with something even fucking worse, dude. I'm curious. Ironworks of Misery. Reduce the safety of the window in the foundry? So, the foundry loot. Reduce the safe. So, if I had to guess, are they going to make it a slow vault? Because when I think of remove the safety of the window, I think of maybe changing the pathing of the window or maybe changing the location of the window, but... Remove the safety of the window. I hope they change the... Uh, the the padding to that window to make it a slow vault because it was literally a straight fucking line you're taking that loop for about three different fucking times that's another loop you're taking three different fucking times especially if you're playing a 4.4 forget about it you can't take that loop or you lose the game oh my god there's so many map changes i'm gonna have to fucking grind and see all these map changes i'm actually fucking hyped all right auto haven records red shop remove the rng window spawn logic in the garage and reduce window safety I like the fact that they're changing the RNG elements to Dead by Daylight. I think that's fucking retarded. You shouldn't have that in a character that's stupid. Remove the RNG window. So does that mean the window's gonna always spawn on the left side instead of in front of the building? And they reduce it. So if I had to guess, if they're gonna put the window in front of the building, then they're gonna put a door on the left side of the building where the other window was. If I had to guess, if they're gonna reduce the safety of the window, I feel like that's the only way to do it, right? And then backwater swamp, Grim Pantry, reduce the safety of the window under the shack, Grim Pantry, backwater swamp, oh, reduce the safety in the window under the shack. That's a pretty big change, so reduce, the so if I had to guess, are they putting doors next to the window instead of changing the padding to the window? I feel like that's what they're doing, right? Because I feel like with that, you can't change the padding, I mean you can, but I feel like it'd be a lot easier if you just put a fucking like door right next to that window. I feel like that's what they're doing, right? It's because they did it in the uh, Dead Dog Saloon map, so I mean, maybe they saw that it was working in that map, and they are like, you know what, let's just fucking put doors everywhere next to the fucking loops that are OP shit. Alright, layout tweaks. Rotten Fields, reduce the size of the map and add a more distance between maze tiles. Reduce the size- Oh! They reduce the size of Rotten Fields? So if you're not- if you're playing a 4.4 killer, you won't get absolutely generous and fucking destroyed? 
That's actually fuck. I wish I knew, like, I wish they gave me numbers, like, on how much they reduced the size of the map. Reduces. That's fucking. And reduce. And add a more distance between maze tiles. Maze tiles. What the fuck is. Are they talking about loops? I don't know what the fuck maze tiles are. Am I drunk or am I drunk? I don't know what the fuck that is. The only thing that matters is that Rotten Fields is smaller. That's actually fucking awesome. What else did they do? Red shop, add a more distance between maze tiles. Add a more distance between maze tiles. Oh, I'm about to search that up. What, are, what the fuck are maze tiles? Oh, I'm stupid. Maze, maze tiles are the fucking, uh, you know the loops with the walls? Like the uh, four separate walls on each corner and then it, it usually leads to a pallet or a window on the right side of the, uh, the, the loop? That's what a maze tile is. I didn't fucking, I don't know what the fuck that was to be honest. I've never said maze tiles in my life. That's, so they reduced the distance between maze. That's actually, so that makes the loop shorter. That means you have more of a chance of getting the survivor taking that loop. So it's not always guaranteed because most of the time when they take that loop, it's pretty much guaranteed, especially with the window. I think the window is still there, but they reduced the distance between maze tiles. So that means the loop is going to be a lot smaller. I hope, I hope, I'm hoping with that, that that's what that means. That's actually pretty fucking good. So fractured cow shed reduces the size of the map and added more distance between maze tiles. Fractured cow shed. They reduce the size of the map. I didn't even. I mean, to be fair, that map was pretty big, but I didn't think it was too big. But that's fucking awesome. No, fuck that map. Fuck all the fucking cow maps. Fuck them. Fuck those maps. That's actually fucking awesome. I did not expect them to reduce the size of certain maps too. This is like a whole like mid chapter fucking map balance change. So what's the next one? Thompson House. Reduce the size of Thompson House, and added more distance between maze tiles. So they're doing the maze tiles thing, pretty pretty much for all these uh, what backwater swamp? Are they doing it for backwater swamp? Did they? Rotten Fields, Red Shop. So they, they didn't do it for the backwater swamp maps. I mean, because to be fair though, I don't think even think backwater swamp maps have fucking maze tiles. Fractured Kasha, Thompson House. I cannot believe they reduced the fucking size of the map in Thompson House. Bro, I want to play that map right now. I want to see the new Thompson house. I'm so hyped. And Wrecker's Yard. Reduce the size of Wrecker's Yard and add a more distance between... Wrecker's Yard. So the thing the thing about Wrecker's Yard is... Wait, Wrecker's Yard... Hold on, wait. Before I fucking say anything. Wrecker's Yard is the... Um, all right, so Wrecker's Yard is the... Uh, yeah, I don't know why they re re reduced the size of Wrecker's Yard. Because I feel like Wrecker's Yard is already like such... Is it a balanced map? Not pro- I mean, to be fair, it is pretty- I mean, I never have a problem when I play it, but I can see why it's so fucking it's pretty big. I thought it was gonna be like Azeroth's resting place. That fucking map is fucking ridiculous. I think that map needs to be small. I mean, but to be fair, though, you can play around how big it is with the the three-on-three -three gems on the left and right side. Or three-four. So, I mean, eh. That's a pretty big change. So, Wrecker's Yard reduces the size of the map and distance between tiles. Damn, they reduced the size. I mean, Wreckers Yard was, I mean, a pretty, oh, what the fuck happened to my game? I think out of all the map changes, what are the, what are the most, I think, ah, what are the biggest changes out of all these map changes, in my opinion? I think the biggest changes, in my opinion, so far to the maps, I think probably one of them has to be like the Cold Wind Farm changes, right? Because the Cold Wind Farm maps fucking make me want to break my eyeballs in half, so... I'm actually really fucking curious on what they did to the map. I'm actually real- I want to see them! We're about to play Cold One Farm map. And I think I know just the person, the thick person, to absolutely fucking destroy. And absolutely get us the fucking new flesh that we deserve. She might be a little thick, half the time I don't know what the fuck she's saying. But I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna get into the perks. Alrighty guys, now this is what we're rocking with, and I spilled for my spirit. That's it. oh Jesus Christ. No, I'm not giving you none of my fucking sandwich. Stop asking me, bro. Yo, she's been asking me for a fucking piece of my sandwich for about no, fuck you. Anyways, our first perk. Corrupt intervention! You guys already know what this is. Gonna something down in the early game and pretty much make sure we don't get general stuff our fucking ass. And yeah, yeah, if we're able to build, I mean we'll corrupt intervention. I feel like with spirit. If you build pressure early game and you just fucking rock off momentum in the early game, while Corrupted Adventures fill up, this game pretty much fucking over. But we're playing, we're, if you see our offering, bro, we're playing a Cold One Farm map. Which means, even though they did get changed, and I want to see, but the, my, the map I really want to see the most is probably the Thompson House. I just want to see what that upstairs loop looks like, because I feel like it's going to be another infinite. But I might be wrong. But bro, Corrupted Invention going to allow us to put, uh, put pressure a lot more pressure early game easier and bro if we run a momentum early game with corrupted adventure still up and with spirit 
And with our third perk that we have, bro, this game is fucking over. Then our next perk, pop, goes the weasel. You guys should know what this is. Gonna give us some sort of instant regression, because as you guys know, in this meta, you need some sort of regression perk. So pop goes the weasel, the most reliable regression perk. And yeah, it's gonna reward us for running off a hot, fat ass, juicy momentum, which is probably gonna be the plan. I have to face like a four man survivor front. Wait, 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 wait. Now that I think about it, the prove thyself wasn't in the patch notes. The prove thyself buff that was in the PTB wasn't in the patch notes. That's huge. Hold up. I'm getting off top of what I just I just remember that. What it wasn't in the patch notes. Fuck yeah! Or else I get tired to prove myself survivor friends. Anyways, get off topic! Anyways, I'm, I'm getting off topic. Then our next perk! As people call it, STBFL. I don't fucking call I just say, say the best for last, because it's fucking cuter. You guys already know what this is. Gonna fucking reward for hitting multiple targets, that's not our obsession. And bro, if we're able to build six stacks in the early game with Corrupted Invention still up, you're probably thinking like, bro, that's not fucking possible. I fucking love this perk, but this, per this perk is in my fucking veins, it's in my blood. I love this perk with a passion. If we're facing a group of survivor friends, it might be a little difficult because the obsession, as soon as she sees the cooldown, or he slash Lee, or fucking, uh, fucking Meg, as soon as they see the cooldown on my basic attacks, they'd be like, oh shit, this guy got saved the best for last. Let's just fuck the shit out of him with the obsession and just fucking run in front of him for no reason and have him hit him and then just run away like a dog and then just come back. Usually what happens? It's kind of cancer. Pisses me off. <laughs> But yeah, bro, if we're able to build six stacks in the early game, momentum is going to be fucking hot, momentum is going to be fucking juicy, and bro, we're going to be swinging like we're a fucking leprechaun fucking smack it, bitches. Then our last perk, a nurse's calling. You guys already know what this is. going to give us vision, information, and pretty much I would pair Thanatophobia with nurse's call, so I would, usually my... What I used to use was save the best, and uh, instead of save the best for last, I put Thanatophobia. Just to guarantee that uh, it's going to force him into a heal, but with this build, I want to be as unpredictable as possible and try to end the game as early as possible because we're kind of in an early game meta and if you get to late game, you're going to get fucked in the ass. Unless you have Pop Goes Weasel, Hex, Ruin, and fucking Thrilling Tremors up. That's the only way you're surviving late game, unless you fucking make some hot ass juicy ass plays. But bro, I, this build is mainly to end it early and with Nurses Calling, it... We don't have any perks that punish the survivors for not healing, so when they do decide to heal, it'll be a little bit unpredictable, so that we can use Nurse's Calling a little bit more unpredictably? That unpredictably is a fucking word, right? I, fuck school. But yeah, we're mainly using this to give us a, a vision and information, and yeah, yeah it, it's pretty much like a situational perk, especially with this build. But nonetheless, it's vision and information, and we might be able to pick people off at the most unpredictably clutch times in the game. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then our add-ons. Dirty Iwabaki. Considerably increases Jamoka's halting movement speed, which means we're going to be able to move faster, and we're going to be able to get to locations faster. And bro, that means the mind games are going to be absolutely fucking ridiculous, and we're, we're literally going to play fast. I haven't played a game all day today, by the way. But the plan is we're going to play fast paced as fuck. And we're, we're going to be able to get to place the place faster. And be able to run off momentum even harder. Then our next add-on. Rin's Broken Watch. You better fix that shit because that, that shit's probably fucking expensive. Moderately increases Yamoka's haunting power recovery speed. Which means we're going to be able to get our power faster. And yeah, yeah, more mind games. Which means fucking people are going to be shitting their fucking pants. Then our offering. Heart. Lock it! Tremendously increases the chances of being sent to cold wind farm when burnt. <sighs> Is this gonna be bad? I have no fucking idea. Am I hoping for the best? Probably not. Are we gonna face the survivor friends? Probably. I'm hoping we get the uh, Thompson house because I just wanna see. I just wanna see the fucking second story window loop. That's all I ask. Spirit. I don't even have to ask you. I know you already got your sword. It's impressive. I'm not giving you. Stop asking for my sandwich, bro. I'm not the fucking. Oh. You're pissing me off. But I know you can piss me off. And I know you can speak like 10. I know. I, 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 yeah, I agree. I, I know. But you gotta let me finish. I know. I, I accept your apology. 
<sighs> Spirit. I've been playing June a little bit. I think it's been like two weeks. Yeah, no, it's that. Uh, yeah, I, I know it's been two. I, that's what I just said. Spirit, how about me and you fucking destroy? And we try out these new maps ourselves and see what hot, badass, juicy ass plays we can make. Yeah, she's ready. She's ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna get into the shit. Rotten Fields. The Cold Wind Farm. So, bro, I hopped on, right? And my sensitivity was so high. I had it on 80. I was like, man, I need to play a couple warm up matches to figure out like what I want to adjust my mind. Look how small Rotten Fields is, bro! Oh God! Hold on, I need to figure out when these uh, where the new spawns for people are. Cause I remember I played a match on fucking the uh, not Rotten Field. I think it was um, it was one of the Cold One farms up, and they spawned literally right in front of me. What the fuck? What the? Fuck? <laughs> hey, Blackberry Flash! Oh, again with the shitty phone plan? What are you promoting, bro? Bro, I'm rocking 60 sensitivity right now. Oh my God, it's so not okay. My games. Still on my left, I see him. Oh, That's two stacks, bro. 60 sensitivity is so perfect because it's it's, it's kind of it's not really fast. It's what the fuck? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god, you are light. You're my touch. They got a hit you. Get him up compared to the price of death, black bird. Bro, 60s. I'm gonna let that guy get him because he's my obsession. But 60 sensitivity is so fucking perfect. What the fuck? Grandpa, oh my god, you got a new sh Oh my god, the jukes. Oh, oh! You didn't Oh no, bro. Oh no, get him, Grandpa Flesh. Bro, this 60 sensitivity, dude. I fucking, oh my god, I thought the white was right there getting ready to fucking throw that palette on my fucking thick face. Get him, okay, pay the price of death, Grandpa Flesh. Oh my god, momentum? Momentum of four stacks? I'm chilling right now. I know they're on that gen on my left, too. This one or that one? On the shen? Oh, on the shen. I knew you were on the shen. Are you my Dwight? What the f Hey, Cherry Flesh! Oh my god, I love being 360, bro. It's so fun. You're not gonna go to infinite. Or not infinite. Fucking up, Shark. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh, she's dead. Shh. Oh, shit. She ran in front of me. I was like, where the fuck the scratch mark go? There you are. Hey, man, what am I gonna... You're new. Wait, should I call you Cherry Flesh? Nah, Cherry Flesh is... I have so many questions. I, dude, I heard that guy mutter like a fucking dog across the map. What the fuck? Okay. Hey, Cherry Flesh. Hey, do me. Mind games? Go back. She's not gonna go back. Is she gonna run for her fucking career? No, she's not. Dead dropping. Go back. Oh, you're dead. Slow ball. She didn't go for that. I think she gets this. Whoop! <laughs> Oh, I did not think I was gonna get that, bro. Holy shit. Bro, that's it. Hey, Cherry Flesh, you're looping. You're just, oh, wait, do you have Iron Will? Uh, nah, get your thick ass up. Get up, Cherry Flesh. Yeah. And get him okay, pay the price of death. <laughs> bro, this map is. I love Rotten Fields right now. I'm loving Rotten Fields, bro. Who's on my left? That hurt somebody on my left, bro. Rotten Fields is. Look how small. It's like the perfect size. Literally, I feel like I'm playing a whole different game, bro, and I feel like I'm playing at like 50, 55 frames instead of 60, instead of uh, 40 frames. I, I don't know if it's because the map just... There you are. Is that Grandpa Flesh? Or is that Dwight? Nah, 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 hey, Grandpa Flesh. Drop it. My games. I'm just gonna stand here. I'm gonna chill. I'm just gonna put my feet up. You're gonna come over. Gonna go back around. Dang, these guys are really not falling for it. Go over. You don't get that. Ah! Oh my god, I pulled on the fucking shit out of this guy. Ace stacks with your name on it. I don't want to waste my time on Dwight. Dwight seems like a lower end player. Like, get him up and pay the bunch of death. Oh my god, he's dead? How the fuck this guy died so fast? Hello? What the shit? I'm gonna leave Dwight for last because I feel like he's one of like lower end players. Since I the way the way his movement is, I don't think he's that he's gonna be that difficult to deal with, so I'm gonna leave him for last. We're chilling right now. Oh my god, eight stacks and they good what it's been like five minutes. You guys are really fucking insta-healing across the map. Bro look I just I love this map now. I fuck there's somebody on my left. Somebody on my right. I fucking love this map. It's like the what the fuck cherry flesh? Save the best for last. Slow ball? No slow ball. Juke? Ah! Ah! Eight stacks. 
she's just gonna keep on running for her career. Can I follow? Shh. I did follow her. Oh my god. I did not think I was gonna get that chick to be perfectly honest with that armor, dude. Get up, cherry flesh. Saving Dwight for last. This is why I love saving the best for last. Get him up and pay the price of death. Eight stacks. Oh, okay, so if I see the Dwight again, I think I'm gonna chase him since I'm rocking eight stacks. So I think we're gonna chill right now. Run away. Pop goes a weasel. Bro, this game feels so good. She killed herself. This game's over. What the fuck? Hey, Blackberry Flush again with a shitty phone plan. I'm about to show you a phone plan. It's about to call uh fucking turtle for turtle cock. Oh, that was a sick ass dead art. You saw all that fucking mean ass dead art break the shit. Actually, you know what, Blackberry Flush? You know what? I'm gonna let your phone plan live. And I'm gonna see if I can find the door. I knew the thick ass was over here, Dwight. Let's see if we can let's test Oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no! Oh, too slow. Go back over? Then go back over. Imagine if I had a cooldown on my auto attack. That guy probably would've died. Okay. You don't know. You don't know locker. Where the fuck this guy go? Bro, these guys are fucking hiding their brains out right now. Is this some high level red rank strat that I don't know about? Alright, next time we see uh, Blackberry Flush, I think we're gonna show no mercy. I see somebody? I see your thick ass. What do you mean you're pointing at the jet? What do you want the fuck? You really ready to teammate out like that? Alright, Blackberry Flush, no mercy. Seven stacks. Kill this guy. Boop, boop, boop. And I know exactly where this guy is too. Let's finish the joke. All right, the moment I let you guys live for a second, you guys fuck me over. Is that really what we're gonna do? You're gonna force that fuck me over. Let's see if I can mind game this guy. Poop. He didn't go to my left. He's still there. Is he just gonna? Okay. I guess he's just gonna stand there. Hold on. Unless I'm wrong. What the fuck are you doing? Get over here! What the, uh, uh, what is it, what, what the fuck, hold on, wait, hold on, I'm gonna leave, stay right here, I'm gonna figure your name, what the fuck, uh, it's not Girl Scout Cookie, Boy Scout Cookie, Girl Scout Cookie Flush, get him up and pay the price of death, no! so my question is, hold on, pop those a weasel, Ooh. the moment you give them an inch, they take fucking like three yards, what the, f three yards is like fucking like not even that big, they take three fucking, uh, miles, they take, Three, what the fuck? Three feet? Three inches? Three dicks. Get a muck back Blackberry Flesh and fuck your phone plan. Where is Blueberry Flesh? I haven't seen Blueberry Flesh in about like 20 fucking years. I miss her. Blackberry Flesh, call her. Give her a call. Tell her I miss her. Get a muck and pay the price of death. The moment we give them an opportunity, they fuck me over. Bro, I did not. Honestly, we could have ended the game a thousand times faster, but bro. I think I should have just killed Blackberry Flush right there, to be honest. <laughs> Bro, Rotten Fields, this is like... I fucking love this map! This game's over. Ruthless killer! We didn't get, we didn't get enough in Sacrifice, because we only hooked the uh, Dwight once. How do we do? And I think our Hunter wasn't that long either, was it? Yeah, 5k Brutality. Damn, we only got 5k Brutality. Oh, did they kill themselves on Hook? 5k brutality, 8k deviousness, 6k hunter, 7 or 6k sacrifice? Yeah. That's not bad, damn. We barely pipped. What the fuck? Yeah, we didn't get enough to chase either. Yeah, I think I think two of them. What did two of them insta kill themselves so I couldn't get that extra hook or extra hit? Oh my god, that guy was only using dead heart. What the fuck? That's impressive. Why the? <laughs> Why are you using one perk? Make me feel bad. Prove thyself, bond, spine chill, leader. So I'm guessing. Was this a three-man survivor, friends? No way, right? If you need to improve thyself, bond, spine chill, leader. You have to be, like, at least, like, a two-man. Rocking a two-man survivor, friends. Deadheart, you were respectable, but I feel kind of bad for what the fuck I just did. Uh, kindred, we're gonna live forever, fixated. When your mind, you have a goal, you can see your own scratch marks at all times. Why don't you... Why, oh, that perk's actually really slept on perk. Fucking, what's it called? Fixated? That's actually really slept on perk. Iron Will, I don't know why you wouldn't use, eh, I don't know, he didn't have any exhaustion perks, maybe that's what he was going for, but bro, so what did, this guy didn't have any exhaustion perks either, this guy didn't have any exhaustion perks, three unexhaustion perks, 
I feel bad, kinda. Yeah, not really. You guys tried. That you failed. We'll get him next time. Alrighty guys, well that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really fucking appreciate it. If you like this video, please like and sub. And don't forget to hit that notification button to get notified when I upload. But uh, yeah, yeah, bro. I think Rotten Fields might be my new favorite map. Bro, Rot Rotten Fields with Spirit might be one of the best maps for her. Not only because it's fucking literally open space, but the map is such a decent size. It's not too big and it's not too small. It is such a good size. They... Rotten Fields might be my new favorite map, bro. Right, unless I'm playing Ghostface, then I might want to fucking, like, break my arm and, like, snap my cock in half. But, bro. I like Rotten Fields. <laughs> I never thought in a million years I'd say that. Oh my god, this... I want to play this game a lot more now. I actually really want to fucking just grind the shit out of this game. And just see the new changes with the maps and what I can do with them, bro. Oh my god, the shit I can do in videos on these new maps would probably be fucking insane. This patch is pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm not too sure if I'm going to upload tomorrow. I might... If I don't upload tomorrow, I'll probably be streaming a little bit of Dead by Daylight for like a few hours. Probably like four, three, four hours. I'll probably put a notification up on YouTube if I do stream uh, Dead by Daylight so you guys can stop by if you guys want to. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys either tomorrow. Or what the fuck is today? Today, Wednesday? I'll tell you Tuesday. Shit. I'll see you guys tomorrow or Thursday. Peace.